Hello, this is Brenna from Socrative, and today I'm going to show you quickly how to create and launch quizzes for your students in your Socrative teacher account. So within your teacher account, when you log in, you're going to be started on the launch page here, and this is where you can select one of the six different activity types to run for your students. If you click on quiz, you'll open up the full list of quizzes that are currently housed within your Socrative account. If you're a brand new user, this World Facts quiz is going to already be preloaded into your account for you to use as test material. And any other quizzes that you create throughout your use of Socrative will be available for you here. I'm going to go ahead and select my World Facts quiz here to start with. Once you've selected the quiz that you'd like to run, there are a number of different settings that you need to determine before you launch it. The first to choose is your delivery method. There are three delivery methods available, and they just change the way in which your students are going to interact with the content of your quiz. So the first one is instant feedback. An instant feedback quiz will allow your students to answer each question and, and then be shown immediately whether or not their response was correct or incorrect. Open navigation is the second option. With this format, you can have students move backwards and forwards through the quiz to answer the questions in any order, and they can also revise their answer to a question prior to submitting the full quiz at the end. And the third option is teacher paste. Teacher paste means that you as the teacher are going to control when all of the students in the class move on to the next question in the quiz, so the students will need to wait until you allow them to move on to the next question before they'll be able to complete the quiz. Let's select instant feedback for the example. Once you've selected your delivery method, there are a few additional settings that you can adjust as well prior to launching your quiz. Based on the delivery method, Socrative will make some suggestions as to what uh, settings here might be appropriate. So you can see for instant feedback, um, require names and show question feedback have both been toggled on, but you can adjust those as you need for your own quiz here. But I am gonna turn on require names and let's turn on require uh, show final score there as well. Just so you have an idea of what all these different settings mean. Obviously require names will require your students to enter their name prior to completing the quiz. Shuffle questions and shuffle answers can both be used in order to provide a little bit more um, uh, difference between uh, questions. So you can have the order of the questions and the order of the potential answers shuffled between students, which is a good option to use if you have any concerns about students potentially peeking over each other's shoulders to try and cheat during an exam. Show question feedback will allow you to display some additional content related to each question as your students work through the quiz. So when building out your quiz, you can choose to provide an explanation to each question and toggling this setting on will ensure that the explanation is displayed to students after they answer the question. And show final score will allow students to see the final score at their quiz at the very end. So that we've chosen the settings that we'd like to use for this particular quiz. You'll see that on the teacher side here, I'm now being shown a results dashboard. So as my students start answering the questions in this quiz, I'll see their results populate here. In order to actually provide the quiz to students, you'll need to have your students log into your Socrative room. So in this window here, I'm going to log into a Socrative student account. Socrative doesn't have um, set user accounts for students in the same way that it does for teachers. So the way that students access your quiz is by logging into your specific Socrative room. So on the teacher side here, we can see that there is a room name in the top center of my account, which is Smith2003. This is my unique room name, and this is what students are going to use to access my quiz. On the student login, I can have them enter the room name, Smith2003, and click join. And now the students will be able to access whatever quiz content is within this particular room. So here they can now see the first question of the quiz, which is a true or false question. And we can see over on the teacher side as well that this student now appears in the live results dashboard. And as they begin answering questions, we'll see their results populate on the teacher side. After the student has submitted their response, we do have um, the option toggled on for them to see um, the results of that particular question. So I can see that I got this question correct. And we can just work through all the questions of the quiz in this order. So 
you can see here that you're going to have the results populated for each student who responds to the quiz questions. Of course, I only have one student participating in this quiz for the purposes of this demo, but if you have your full class in here, they would be listed all in the same view for you. And you can see that their responses are color coded to display whether they got the answer correct or incorrect. So you can see really easily how the class is performing as a whole. When I'm ready for the quiz to be finished, I can click finish up in the top here. And on the student side, you'll see that it updates to um, finish the quiz for them as well. So they now are in a waiting period, waiting for the next activity to begin, as there's no other quiz currently running uh, in this particular room for them. Now that we've seen how to launch a quiz for students and what the process is like for students to access that quiz, I'm going to show you how to create a brand new quiz. So I'm just going to click into the quizzes tab here at the top. And here is where you can see all of the quizzes that currently are housed within your account. So when we were selecting a quiz to run from the launch page at the very beginning of the video, this is the same list that was pulled up. To add a new quiz, you're going to click the Add Quiz button at the top. Now we'll click to create a new quiz. And you'll be taken through to the quiz editor in Socrative. So we can select a name for our quiz. And then you can see along the bottom of the page, there are three different question types that you have to choose from. So just click the question type you'd like to start with, and then you can enter all of the details for this particular question. So for this example, uh, let's look at colors. So that's the question that I'm going to be asking, and then I can fill in all of the different possible answers for this multiple choice question. And then along the side here, I can select which particular answers should be marked as correct. So for primary colors, we're going to be looking at red, yellow, and blue. And then additionally, I can provide an explanation to give some additional context to this question for my students as well. So there's just an example for that. Once I finished the question here, I can click to save it and then move on to the next question that I want to have in my quiz. And then save. Once you've added all of the different questions that you'd like to have within your quiz, you can use the arrow buttons here to move them around and change the order in which they're displayed. You can use this little icon with the two pages to create a duplicate of a particular question if you have a similar question you'd like to ask, so you can just make a few edits, or you can use the trash icon to delete a question. Up at the very top, just click save and exit when your quiz is done, and then you'll be able to see it listed in your quiz list on the main quizzes page, and you can now select to uh, launch that quiz out of your Socrative room for any students to participate in. Once quizzes are finished, you are going to also receive reports based on that quiz. You can save the results of your students' work. So if I click into the Reports tab here at the top, I'm going to see a list in chronological order of all of the quizzes that I've run previously from my account. So I can click in to review the results at any time. So just clicking on the quiz uh, reports there uh, take you through to the Live Results dash, just the same way that we saw when the quiz was running for students. And you can also click the reports button in the top right corner to access the additional report types so you can save this data outside of Socrative. There are three different report types to choose from. The whole class Excel sheet is quite similar to the live results dash in that you'll see an Excel sheet that covers all of the students in the class and all of the questions on the quiz and how they responded. Individual student PDFs will provide you with a PDF document for each individual student that just shows how each student uh, responded to the questions. So that's a great one to provide to your students so they can review their work following the quiz. And the question specific PDF is going to go through all the questions of the quiz and show you how the class answered as a whole. So how many students responded with answer A, with answer B, and which ones were correct. You then have a few options for how you can save that material. You can either email it to yourself, download it to your device, or save it to Google Drive. And if you are using Socrative Pro and you have student email addresses available, you can send the individual student PDFs directly to students as well. 
So there's a quick video showing you how to create and launch quizzes for your students in Socrative and how students will access and complete those quizzes for you, as well as how to retrieve the results of the quizzes afterwards. I hope this has been helpful. Happy quizzing!